logarithmic, I for inverse, A for algebraic, T for your trigonometric, and E for the exponential. I have a dream, that's all I need. I'll make it happen with some work and belief. Know what I want. Hello guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Mathematic TV. So today is another tutorial day. So now I'm going to talk about the integration of integrals using e integration by parts. So let's start. The formula is the integral of u dv is equal to uv minus the integral of v du. So anyway, this formula derived by the pro differential of product. So let's start and use this formula to try some examples. So to be easy to recognize what you are going to put for u and dv, use the Liate method. L stands for logarithmic, I for inverse, A for algebraic, T for your trigonometric and E for the exponential. So using this method, um, it will easy to recognize if what you are going to set for U and DV. So let's start using a Liate method. Anyway, this uh, method has an exception also. I will discuss uh, later after some few examples. Problem number one, let's integrate x e raised to x with respect to x. Using the method, I will set u equal to x, then dv equal to e raised to x. Therefore, the du is dx because the derivative of x is just 1, so the same in dx. And v is equal to what is the integral of e raised to x. So the integral of e raised to x is still e raised to x. So now let's follow the formula for the integration by parts. So the integral of v du. Is equal to the is equal to u v minus the integral of v du. I mean the integral of u d v is equal to u v minus the integral of v du. So u v u is x and v is equal to a raised to x. Therefore, the answer is x e raised to x. Then let's subtract the integral of v du. So v is e raised to x and du is dx now let's integrate the integral of e raised to x dx so the integral of e raised to x dx is still e raised to x therefore our final answer is equal to x multiplied by e raised to x minus the integral of e raised to x dx which is e raised to x then let's add the constant of integration we can simplify this formula by factor, I mean, we can simplify this answer by factoring e raised to x. So the final answer is e raised to x times x minus 1, then plus the constant. So this is our final answer. This is correct also. So let's proceed to the second example. So for the second example, let's integrate x sin x dx. Again, let's use the Liate method. So I will set u equal to x and dv equal to sin x. So du is equal to dx and v is equal to the integral of sin x is negative cosine x now let's follow the formula for the integration by parts so this is equal to uv which is x times 
negative cos x so negative x cosine x then let's subtract the integral of v du which is negative cosine x then times du which is dx so negative cosine x dx now if we remember that negative multiplied by negative is positive so this is equal to the integral of negative x cosine x plus the integral of cosine x then dx so now let's integrate cosine x with respect to x so the integral of cosine x is equal to sine x plus c so our final answer is equal to negative x cosine x plus sine x plus c so this is our final answer okay let's proceed to the third example so let's integrate x ln of x with respect to x again using liate method i will set u equal to ln x therefore du the, the derivative of ln x is 1 over x times dx and v i mean and dv is equal to x so v the integral of x is one half x squared now let's follow the formula for the integration by part so this is equal to one half ln x times x squared minus the integral of v du which is v which is one half x squared times one over x dx this is equal to integral of v which is one half x squared times d which is one over x dx and notice that the x will be cancelled this will be one the exponent will be one and since one half is just a constant we can put that before the integral so this is equal to neg negative integral of I will put the constant before the integral sign which is one half then integral of x dx now this is very easy to integrate so the integral of x dx is equal to one half x squared so this is equal to negative one half times one half x squared plus c hence we can simplify this into negative one fourth x squared plus c and this is uh, our final answer so our final answer is one half x squared ln x minus one fourth x squared plus c so this is our final answer anyway we can simplify this further um, we can factor one half x squared so since one half x squared is the common anyway this is correct also so let's proceed to the fourth example so let's integrate x squared cosine x dx so so using a Liate method again i will set u equal to x squared and dv is cosine x so the derivative of x squared is equal to 2x dx and v the integral of cosine x is sine x so following the formula again this is equal to x squared sine x minus the integral of v du which is sine x times 2x dx so 
sin x times 2x dx. So let's use integration by parts again in this uh, problem. So I will set u. Let's follow the Liate method again. So I will put u equals to 2x and dv is equal to sin x. So our du is equal to 2 dx and v is equal to the, the derivative of sin x which is i mean the integral of sin x which is equal to negative cosine x so let's follow the integration by parts formula again so this is equal to 2x times negative cosine x minus integral of v du which is negative cosine x times 2 dx so notice that um, 2 is just a constant so we can put that before the integral sign and negative times negative is positive so this is equal to integral of cos cosine x dx and let's put a uh, constant before the integral sign now this is very easy to integrate so what is the integral of cosine x yes sine x so this is equal to sine x plus c then times the constant which is 2 now our final answer is equal to x squared sine x then 2x cosine x and 2 sine x plus c so hence our final answer is x squared sine x minus 2x cosine x plus 2 sine x plus c so we're done and this is our final answer so in this problem we perform integration by parts uh, twice before we get the final answer so in my fifth example i will uh, discuss the exception of liate method that's all for today guys thank you so much for watching and please share your thoughts about it by commenting below and if you learned something today please give this video a thumbs up and also, if you want to see the other videos, link in the description below. And please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Stay tuned and see you on my next video. Thanks and God bless. I have a dream. That's all I need. I'll make it happen with some work and belief. Know what I want. So I'll take it on. I've made mistakes, but mistakes make you strong